I'm Ryan Lestrange, and this is our Spiritual Warfare series. Today I want to talk about a very fascinating spirit. I call it the spirit of Absalom. Now, Absalom was the son of David. He was the son of the king. You find the story of Absalom uh, in the Old Testament in 2 Samuel chapters 13 through 18. And, and I believe we can look at the life of Absalom, and we can see a spiritual application of a particular type of demon that tries to come into the church today and into the culture of today's church. Now, the first thing that you've got to understand about what I call the Absalom spirit is it is full of pride and full of mischief. This spirit is a very prideful spirit, and God's kingdom is always founded on humility. You know, the Lord told us, humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God, and he will promote us in due time. The Absalom spirit is a self-promoting prideful spirit. It's a spirit that says, look at me. Look at my abilities. Look at my knowledge. Look at my ministry. Look at my accomplishment. Look at my wisdom. And it will cause division within the kingdom of God. In fact, as we look at Absalom's life in 2 Samuel, he was used of the enemy to cause great division and great heartbreak. He turned against his father, the beloved king of Israel, and literally divided the kingdom. David ended up having to leave the palace and take refuge until he won the kingdom back. And it ended up in the death of Absalom. So it's a very tragic story. The other thing Absalom was known for, he was renowned for his looks. We find in 2 Samuel 14, 25, it says this. Now in all Israel, there was no one praised as much as Absalom for his good looks. From the sole of his foot to the crown of his head, there was no blemish in him. This means you could look at him from the sole of his foot. To the top of his head, there was no uh, wart, there was no wrinkle, there was no imperfection. He was such a good-looking person that people were drawn to him. He had a gift. The Absalom spirit often comes into the hearts of people that have a gift. And the very gift that God gave to a person to help advance and build the kingdom of God becomes a weapon of destruction in the devil's hand. Absalom was blessed with this gift of charisma, of charm, of physical beauty, and it attracted people to him. Now, what he should have done is he should have used that gift to help honor his father and promote his father's kingdom, but he didn't. He began to lust for his father's kingdom. He wanted what did not belong to him. The Absalom spirit wants a position of authority that does not belong to it. This manifests as church splits a lot of times. It manifests through a staff member at a ministry that causes division and goes across town and starts another church and takes half the people. And it begins with deception. Here's some of the things that happen. Uh, Absalom's spirit will begin to try to establish its own agenda and promote its own leadership. You know, in a spiritual family, the agenda comes from the father of that family, the head of that family, and then flows down. A good associate or a good affiliate minister should be advancing that agenda. Paul said about Timothy, I'm going to send him to you because he'll teach my ways. In other words, because he was Paul's disciple, Paul trusted him and knew he would advance the same teaching that Paul had taught. This This spirit, though, is an overthrow spirit. It looks to overthrow and invade the kingdom of another and take it over. Absalom rebels against divine order. Doesn't like divine order. Doesn't like the the setup of God. Uh, It believes that it is better qualified to lead than the God-appointed leader. And so it begins to try to snatch that position of leadership. It'll overlook godly order to fulfill its own desires. It'll convince the person who's being buffeted by this spirit that it is more talented, that it is more anointed, than the appointed leadership of the house. Instead of patiently waiting on God to exalt him, Absalom will push forward and forge its own way. You know, Satan was like this. He said, I will exalt my throne above the throne of God. And Satan uh, looked at, at every opportunity not to promote the kingdom, but to do what he wanted to do. Some of the symptoms of an Absalom spirit are pride, rebellion, a disrespect for authority, hidden offense. A lot of church splits and leadership issues start through hidden offense. Well, when we're praying daily, when we're receiving communion and coming in fellowship with the Holy Spirit, we can't stay offended. Offense is the bait of Satan. Absalom got offended over some things David didn't handle the way he thought they should be handled, and that was the root of this whole thing. It will justify wrongs by pointing to the faults of others. It desires the leadership God's given to someone else. It pursues the hearts of others in order to leave a rebellion. You know, a leader, when they entrust 
positions of authority to other people within their ministry. They are giving their confidence, their stamp of approval, their loyalty to that person. And there's nothing less gracious when then that person takes the very position of honor and uses it against the leader. That's what an Absalom does. It plays to the offenses, the weaknesses, and the frustrations and fleshly ambitions of others. A lot of times the Absalom spirit will say, you're not getting recognized enough. If I was the leader, I'd recognize you. And what Absalom does is he moves in the flesh, and instead of letting God perfect his people, he moves and builds his own thing. It's a very destructive spirit, and I believe that we are not going to live bound by this Absalom spirit. You can find out more about this and other teachings here in the Demonology class at RyanLestrange.com. You'll get a workbook, and you'll get audio sessions where I go in detail about this. Let's live free and stay free.